Uh, the first thing we're going to talk about is data dictionary. So why don't we go ahead and get a start and look at data dictionary. you, Miss Brent. Do you know what a data dictionary does? Yes. Can you tell us its function? Yes. In simple terms? Mr. Mason. Yes or no? Yes. A data dictionary just eliminates redundancy. That's wrong. Let's have the whole truth. <sighs> All right. A data dictionary gives you the information you need so you can eliminate redundancy. Are you familiar with the types of data dictionaries? Yes. Well, may I make a guess? Are they active? Inactive or any others? Are there two kinds, four kinds, 100 types of data dictionaries, or what? Active and other. What does active mean? What does active mean? It records the usage of data, Miss Brent. Does that mean I can inquire against it? Or can I use the data to build something? Tell us in simple terms, Miss Brent, what does record usage of data mean? Yes, it records programs and screens and you use that data. You want us to bring back the database expert, Miss Brent? You want us to find someone capable of telling us the truth in simple, non-computerese, non-buzzword, understandable English? Whenever a program uses a piece of data, it records that fact. Whenever a screen uses a piece of data, it records that fact also. It really does. <laughs> Dictionaries have been around for a long time. I said to myself, why is this so confusing? What's the problem? Any idiot who was building a fourth generation language would base it on the data dictionary? That's what MSA did. I did tell you that this morning, didn't I? 